I need to surprise myself and create something that I never thought I could ever create and that's something beautiful and unique. So I wake up every morning with that thought. Probably the best, best thing was that I had a family that supported me as an artist. The stories of when I'm a six years old, seven years old, my dad would go, that's beautiful, draw me another. So that gave me the confidence. When I started out as a professional artist, I was an illustrator. So for over um, 10 years, maybe 12 years, it was important to be a visual problem solver. My first big job was the cover of the New York Times Book Review. And I used that as um, motivation to move out to New York. And I started doing 12 to 20 assignments every month for over 10 years or more. But even when people hired me to do a cover of a magazine or an inside illustration, it was to have it drawn in my own style. I'm not happy with the real world. It can be harsh and too upsetting. And so I seem to live like this. And this is how I see the real world. So I live in my own way. And when I draw these things, it's not like I'm pretending. This is how I really see the world. A lot of my art comes from my exhibitions. Every time I create a theme, I usually am looking at where I am in the, in, in the world with my life and what's going on in the world situation, and a theme comes around, like with Toby. Toby originally came from an exhibition called For the Love of Toby. So he was always kind of my alter ego. I needed someone who was like the keeper of my secrets and to love me unconditionally. I was going through a very difficult time personally. And generally, most of my themes deal with a sense of how do we develop a sense of respect for ourselves and how to live a true life, you know? A real life without worrying about being judged, as long as we're not taking advantage or hurting others. It doesn't come easy. It comes with a lot of hard work and effort. I draw every day. I draw every day. And you would think that I would be better at this. You know, I think I would be such a better artist since I draw every day. But I have to accept this is what I do, <laughs> you know? Just realize no one's gonna do it for you. You can get frustrated. But use that frustration to push yourself to work harder, to create something better. We live at a time where an artist has to be more of an entrepreneur. Not only do you have to create your style and your body of work, a lot of times you have to create your own project and fundraise and make things happen. It's a challenge. It's not gonna be easy. For me, it's worth it. There's nothing else that I wanna do. Thank you.